breaking news right now at noon. State health officials just issued new instructions about the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine after the CDC recommends pausing its use. And the Brooklyn Center mayor is calling for the officer who shot a black man to be fired. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. We start with breaking news. In the last 10 minutes, Wisconsin's Department of Health Services is instructing vaccinators to stop administering the J&J &J vaccine in the state of Wisconsin. This comes on the heels of new health concerns over the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is prompting health officials to shell the vaccine for now. There are now six reported cases of a rare and severe type of blood clot in folks who receive the vaccine in the U.S. Skylar Henry has more details. The CDC and FDA are recommending a pause in the use of the one-shot Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine to investigate whether it has caused some rare blood clots. Right now, I'd like to stress these events appear to be extremely rare. However, COVID-19 vaccine safety is a top priority for the federal government. Officials say there have been six reported cases of blood clots out of more than 6.8 million doses delivered. All six cases occurred in women between the ages of 18 and 48, and their symptoms developed 6 to 13 days after receiving the vaccination. If you have any symptoms where you have pain and it's unexplainable, go to an emergency room right away. And doctors around the country are now aware of this and they know how to treat it. Johnson & Johnson issued a statement saying there is no clear relationship between these rare events and its vaccine. There have been similar blood clot concerns with the AstraZeneca vaccine, which is not yet approved for emergency use in the U.S. What we're seeing with the Janssen vaccines looks very similar uh, to what was being seen with the AstraZeneca vaccine. White House officials held a conference call with governors this morning to discuss what states should do while the FDA and the CDC review the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. States were already getting fewer J&J &J doses than expected this week following problems at a Baltimore manufacturing plant. Even with uneven supply from Johnson & Johnson, we are distributing vaccine supply to vaccinate well more than 3 million people per day. Still, governors are concerned supplies will be limited and that today's news will cause more people to not get vaccinated when it's their turn. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Silver Spring, Maryland. And as I remove, I'm going to put... And Johnson & Johnson says it's delaying the rollout of its vaccine in Europe in response to the concerns raised in America. Over 1.44 million Wisconsinites have completed the vaccine series. That's 24.8% uh, of the state's population. Nearly 38% of residents have received at least one vaccine. And in Dane County, over 32% of residents are now fully vaccinated. Another cooler day across southern Wisconsin, and we could see some light showers throughout the day. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Hattie McLean has a look at your first warm forecast. Hi, Hads. Hi, Mark. You're right. It is feeling a little bit cooler today. Yesterday's highs were in the mid to upper 50s. Today will likely stay in the 40s in most locations. Take a live look from the WIC TV sky camera. Definitely a gray sky outside this afternoon. It looks like we're going to keep those clouds through the remainder of the afternoon. Here's a look at weather track. Not many breaks in that cloud cover across southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin. You're seeing a few sprinkles, even to the north, a few flurries already flying this afternoon. Here's a look at our current temperatures. 41 in Madison, 45 in Janesville, 44 in Prairie du Chien, just 40 in the Dells. Temperatures will only climb a couple of degrees to highs in the mid to upper 40s today. We will drop rather quickly tonight. Another chilly night coming up and Mark coming up in Maine weather. We'll talk about that temperature outlook as we go forward. Let me just say, keep the jacket handy. All right, Eddie, thank you, we will. Just north of Minneapolis, people remain on edge today following another night of unrest after the shooting of a black man. The unrest followed the release of body cam video showing the moments leading up to the Dante, Dante, Dante. Dante's Wright's death. After pulling right over for an expired registration tag, officers learned he had an outstanding warrant stemming from two misdemeanor charges. When the officers tried to handcuff Wright, he struggled to get back into his car. Officer Kim Potter said she would tase Wright and said she shot him. She's been placed on administrative leave, but some people are calling for her badge, including Mayor Mike Elliott. No, in any other line of work, if you uh, kill someone uh, in any other line of work, uh, you are at the very least going to lose your job. We're going through uh, the due diligence to, to see to it that we can uh, make the right determination. 
President Biden weighed in Monday calling rights killing tragic and urging protesters to remain peaceful. The defense has begun its case at the murder trial of former officer Derek Chauvin after 11 days of testimony and a mountain of video depicting George Floyd's final moments. Chauvin's lawyer has argued that the now fired white officer did what he was trained to do and that Floyd died because of illegal drug use and underlying heart condition, not because of Chauvin pinning him to the pavement last May. Slain U.S. Capitol Police Officer William Billy Evans will lie in honor at the Capitol Rotunda today. President Biden delivered remarks along with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Members of Congress and the U.S. Capitol Police members will pay their respects. Evans, an 18-year force veteran and father of two young children, was guarding the Capitol building driveway when a man rammed his car into him and another officer who survived. This afternoon in Milwaukee, Governor Tony Evers is addressing the need for juvenile justice reform. Speakers discussed why they supported the governor's budget, which includes more than a dozen proposals targeted at juvenile justice reform. Some of those include raising the age of delinquency from 10 years to 12 years old, raising the adult court minimum age from 17 to 18 years old, plus eliminating life sentences without the possibility of parole and solitary confinement for long periods of time. If we get it right, our children and their families can and should be rehabilitated through programming, counseling, adequate housing and treatment. We can change both the future of our kids and, to, and the trajectory of this state. Speakers highlighted that Wisconsin has some of the highest racial disparities in the country when it comes to youth justice involvement and pointed to the need for reform in the system. Wisconsin is only one of three states in the nation that considers 17-year-olds adults in the criminal justice system. The state assembly is set to approve a bipartisan bill that would require schools to include instruction on the Holocaust and other genocides. Under the proposal, public schools, charter schools, and private voucher schools would have to include such instruction on the Holocaust and other genocides at least once in grades 5 through 8 and once in grades 9 through 12. The bill would require the state superintendent to develop a model curr curricula in con consultation with an organization in Wisconsin and state agencies in another state that's developed such curricula. The assembly is set to pass the bill today during a floor session. Approval would, be, would then be sent to the governor. A U.S. official says President Biden has decided to leave American troops in Afghanistan beyond the May 1st deadline negotiated with the Taliban by the Trump administration. The official says Biden has set the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks as the new goal. Biden has been hinting for weeks that he was going to let the deadline lapse. And as the days went by, it became clear that an orderly withdrawal of the remaining 2,500 troops was difficult and unlikely. New at noon, the Wisconsin Union's terrace season starts tomorrow as the chairs return to the Memorial Union Terrace. At first, the terrace will start with access limited to current University of Wisconsin, Madison staff, faculty, and students. The active Badger Badge program requires that patrons have Badger badges whose status is determined based on regular on-campus COVID-19 test results or vaccination status. The broth stand will open Thursday, joining the rest of the year-round dining offerings at the Memorial Union. Seating on the terrace will be determined on a first-come, first-served basis. Masks are required. At this time, Wisconsin Union members and guests are not able to visit the terrace. There's more to come on News Street now at noon. A setback for Johnson & Johnson and an eco-friendly take two for gently used Nike shoes. I'm Diane King-Hall at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. Now offering complete bathroom and kitchen remodeling with 0% financing. Everything you need to finish your dream project. Vote RHD Plumbing for Best of Madison. Best Plumber. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. 
you suffer from ED? Did you know there could be a way to relieve ED without harmful medications, needles, or surgery? Peak Performance for Men is here to help. Click or call now to treat your ED. And remember, our results make the difference. Has your home's roof seen better days? Does it have some storm damage? If it's time for a replacement, don't settle for less than the best roof and the best deal. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team has earned GAF's exclusive Master Elite status, achieved by only 3% of the contractors in the U.S. That's your assurance that you're dealing with a dependable, professional contractor, and we take very good care of our customers. The whole process was amazingly simple and easy. Uh, my wife, which is important to keep happy, uh, you know, my wife was happy with the whole process. It was very easy, seamless, and uh, it, it was just a no-brainer to, you know, have it all done. And your new GAF roof will have a 50-year warranty. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Order now and save. Get free installation labor, free financing for a year, and get a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know what needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here to help. HD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. Reliable, honest, dedicated. Proud partner of the Green Bay Packers. Vote RHD Plumbing for Best of Madison. Best Plumber. Vote at rhdplumbing.com today. of Johnson & Johnson fell in early trade after the U.S. government called for a pause in use of its coronavirus vaccine. The CDC and FDA say they are investigating safety issues in six cases of women developing dangerous blood clots after vaccination. One case was fatal. Nearly 7 million doses of J&J's vaccine have been administered in the U.S., the vast majority without significant side effects. Meanwhile, potential progress for AstraZeneca, speaking to the BBC, America's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says if safety issues for that shot are sorted out, it is a good vaccine. But he says it remains to be seen whether the U.S. will need AstraZeneca's shot. The cost of living in the U.S. rose in March. According to the Labor Department, consumer prices ticked up six-tenths of a percent. That was slightly higher than expected. Rising gas prices led the increase. And Nike wants your used kicks so the company can resell them. It's all part of Nike Refurbish. The new program resells sneakers at discount prices. Depending on their condition, shoes returned within 60 days of purchase will either be restored and sold or recycled. The program is an effort to advance Nike's sustainability commitments and reduce its carbon footprint. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Diane King-Hall. Thank you, Diane. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is down 172 points. The Nasdaq, however, up 79. The S&P 500 up four. Facebook users can now ask the company's oversight board to remove posts. The court-like system was created last year. For the first six months, the oversight board only heard appeals from users who had their own content removed by Facebook. Now, the board will also hear appeals from people who want content taken down after Facebook moderators have opted to leave them in place. And in the coming weeks, the oversight board is expected to issue a decision on whether Facebook should restore former President Donald Trump's account. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Up next, another cooler start to the day. Meteorologist Heidi McLean will let us know when we're going to see a warm-up. That's ahead in your first warm forecast. Tonight on CBS, it's a night of suspense, beginning with NCIS, followed by FBI and FBI Most Wanted. Then get a complete wrap-up of the day's news on News 3 Now at 10. 
Enhance your home's exterior with updates from Menards. Outdoor wall lights, add style and security to your home. With our huge selection, you'll be sure to find your style. Whether it's a fixture to light your home's entrance or a motion-sensing security light. Check out this 6,000 lumen motion-sensing LED security light from Patriot Lighting. All outdoor lighting is 11% off. Get 11% off everything right now at Menards. McGann Furniture in Baraboo has a question for you. Have you ever bought a piece of furniture in a box and then had to put it together yourself? We know it's not fun. At McGann's, everything is professionally inspected and assembled before pickup or delivery. Goodbye headaches, and there's no extra charge for assembly. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in soon and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. More Americans are growing their own vegetables than ever before. At Garden Mats, we're here to help people supplement their food supply with fresh, organic vegetables. Whether you are a beginner, novice, or master gardener, Garden Mats make gardening a breeze. Spend your summers trying to keep up with each other, not your weeds. Go to GardenMats.com and plan your garden today. Who really has the best beef? Meet the facts. Fact, high V standards are so strict, their cattle have to be hand-selected. And only about 6% of all beef is able to bear the high V brand. Only 6%. Many claim to have the best beef, but it's time to meet the facts. For more details on high V strict standards, go to meetthefacts.hy-v.com. High V has the best beef guaranteed. Weather turns treacherous. Seconds can save lives. Meteorologist Dana Fulton takes a closer look at how you and your family can stay safe by knowing when to take action and take cover. It's Severe Weather Awareness Week. Are you prepared? Tonight at 10. Wednesday morning, we'll continue to follow developments after the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine distribution is paused. And Josh Ryder is in the 608 with a local yogi sharing easy ways to relax. We'll see you starting at 430. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report on this dreary Tuesday. Hello there. I'm uh, listening right now to our fine producer, Sue Gallmeyer. I can't hear what you're saying. Though, Mark. <laughs> so, uh, it is a cloudy overcast, kind of cold day. It definitely put uh, the brakes on as far as Wisconsin farmers' ideas on what they were going to get done this week for field work. I've gotten some of our farm rainfall reporters that said they have picked up well more than two inches of rain, uh, probably over a stretch period of time. But the point is, it's still happening. Nonetheless, we have the uh, update from our Wisconsin uh, Ag Statistical Service on the Crop Progress Report. I can tell you that as of Sunday, 19% of our oats were already in the ground. 6% of our potatoes have been uh, planted. That's good news. 20% of our tillage has already been done. 75% of our winter wheat has been called good to excellent. Pasture conditions, 58% of that is called good to excellent as well. So all of those uh, situations are in good shape as far as this stage in April. But if we get too wet and stay too cold for too very long, we're going to get a little frustrated there. Other states are not moving moving any farther forward than Wisconsin either. I see that Texas has basically got about 57% of their corn in the ground. Uh, normally they'd have about 57% or better of that crop in. North Carolina just got 16% of their uh, cr corn in the ground. And uh, Kentucky, they've got about 2% of their corn in the ground. So like I said, a lot of folks are lagging behind and the dominating question is still what's happening with the drought in states uh, as close as uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, and all the way into Montana. Those are important acres that have have to get some rain or traders are going to start to get real nervous on making some of the goals that USDA has already set out there for us. Dairy today is uh, trending a little bit lower both on fluid milk contract sides and also as far as what's going on with our product prices. Today barrel cheese down four and a half at a dollar 72. 40 pound black cheese dropped five and a half to 180 and a half and double A butter today down a penny at 189 and a half per pound. But after talking with uh, dairy traders this morning on my early radio show Mark I really don't think that they're too concerned about 
going much farther backwards. Uh, the the orders are coming in for restaurants. Uh, it looks like a lot of people are starting to uh, be a little bit more comfortable, at least, at the dining out or being outdoor experience. And that's been good news, not just for dairy, but also for our livestock and our pork producers. The grilling season, despite this weather, is just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. That's right. All right, Pam, thank you. you and speaking of cooler weather, here's Hattie. Yeah, we do have some cooler temperatures in the forecast. Here are three things that you need to know going forward. Kind of chilly today and tomorrow. Temperatures will only top in the 40s. We should at least be in the mid-50s this time of the year. So we're a good 10 degrees below where we should be. A lot of clouds right now, but sunshine is in the forecast for the end of the week. But you may or may not like to see this. Next week, it looks like below normal temperatures are going to continue. Take a look at that 6 to 10 day temperature outlook. Warm out west. Uh, nice springtime temperatures there, but for the central and eastern parts of the country, it is going to be below normal. We have about a 70% chance to see those below normal temperatures continue into next week. Take a look at our upper air weather pattern. We're going to have wave after wave of some of that colder Canadian air just moving in. So here's today the current condition, our current storm right on top of northern Wisconsin as that one finally rotates out. Another one close behind on its heels by Saturday, bringing in another reinforcing shot of some cooler air as well as a chance for a few sprinkles. We're not not done just yet though heading into next week on Tuesday another shot of cold air as the storm system rotates through and then another one yet coming on Thursday so a parade of storms coming out of Canada keeping us rather cool here in the central and eastern part of the United States a live look from the Edgewater sky camera cloudy skies right now looking out over Lake Mendota not a whole lot showing up on the radar map but hard to ignore those little blips of white some flurries possible especially to the north as we head through the afternoon it would likely be sprinkles here in the Madison area. Temperatures 41 in Madison, 40 in the Dells, 45 in Janesville this hour. So temperatures really haven't moved too much. They'll continue to slowly climb through the rest of the afternoon, but we do battle a wind from the west. Kind of a cool wind for us today. Those winds anywhere from 10 to almost 20 miles an hour, actually creating a wind chill. Wish I didn't need to show this map, but this is what it feels like if you're going to head outside for a walk or a jog. Wind chills in the low to mid 30s this afternoon. Wind speeds will stay strong through the afternoon, but they diminish then this evening. That'll allow temperatures to drop pretty quickly. Take a look at your feature track forecast model. Clouds staying in place, just a few sprinkles or very light showers with high temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 40s. It will drop quickly though by 8 o'clock clock down into the low 40s and then back into the 30s once again overnight. So here's a look at all the extended details. Temperatures topping only in the mid 40s tomorrow. 46 for the high. Again, a slight chance for showers or even a few sprinkles across the area. Temperatures then will get back into the 50s for the end of the week at least. We have some nice sunshine on Thursday and Friday. Slight chances for rain are back in the forecast this weekend, but at least we'll be in the middle 50s. Yeah, it's an improvement. The 40s at least. <laughs> Certainly is. I'll take it. All right, Hattie, thank you. There's more to come on News Street Now at noon. Up next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Today, we're going to turn this into a butterfly. There's no magic required. Just a sharp knife and a few tips that I'll show you coming up. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. It's that time of year to hit the open road. 
To make sure your trip is safe, Meineke is now offering free brake pads. Call your Madison area Meineke for details. Meineke Car Care Center is here to help. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionability, call Peak Performance for Men today. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. Get the max out of your tax refund at iMart Express. With two pairs starting under 40 bucks, you'll spend less on the have-tos and keep more for the want-tos. Our prices won't break the bank. Your tax refund goes further at iMart Express. Every day when I go through my emails, I look forward to seeing what types of recipes and tips and tricks that you're looking for. You know, one question I've seen quite a bit lately is, how do I butterfly a chicken breast? It's a great question. So let me show you how we can magically butterfly these and then turn them into a scrumptious meal. When it comes to butterflying a chicken breast, you wanna make sure you start with a nice plump one. Put it on a cutting board and place one hand on top of it, like this. Then holding a sharp knife horizontal to the cutting board, slowly cut the breast in half, about three quarters of the way through. You'll know you are successful if both the top and the bottom are about the same thickness, and when you open it up, it sort of looks like a butterfly. Now, we season these with some salt and pepper and smear them with a garlic and herb spread. And we top them with some fresh spinach. And after they're roasted, we'll finish them off with some cheese and a buttery crumb mixture. That's all there is to it. It may look like a pricey dish that you would find in a restaurant, but these are easy enough to be part of your weeknight rotation. To get the recipe for our cheesy stuffed herb chicken, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Callie in the Mr. Food Task Kitchen, where today we found a magically butterflied way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, Howard, thank you. This just in. Brooklyn Center Police say that the officer involved in the fatal shooting of a black man has resigned. Officer Kim Potter sent a resignation letter to the mayor along with the police chief. Potter's accused of shooting Dante Wright on Sunday. Officers say they pulled over Wright over an expired registration tag. Officers learned he had an outstanding warrant stemming from two misdemeanor charges. When the officers tried to handcuff Wright, he struggled to get back into his car. Potter said she was going to tase Wright. Instead, she shot him. Finally, an architect in Italy is betting the future of home building uses both the newest technology and the oldest materials. Mario Cucciana, Cucciella has completed a prototype for the first 3D printed home made from clay. The home is called Tecla. It's built from soil found at the site, mixed with water, fibers from rice husks, and a binder. The 645 square foot twin cylinder design was printed layer by layer using an intricate lattice work pattern. It includes a living area, a bedroom, and a bathroom. The prototype is currently undergoing structural and thermal performance testing. It's an essential step before the project can be scaled. That's pretty amazing. Pretty cool. Does it hold up to a heavy rain, though? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, too. Well, we don't have any heavy rain in our forecast today. Lots of clouds, though, as we head through the afternoon. Here's a live look from our Queen Bee Radio Sky Camera in Platteville. Cloudy there as well. Take a look at Doppler Track, though. It is showing some snow moving into northwestern Wisconsin, so snowflakes definitely not out of the question for areas well north of the Dells today. All right. Thank you, Eddie. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.